Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin is addressing the community now about the importance of resolving conflict in safe ways. This comes after a violent weekend in Birmingham, resulting in eight teens shot. The city is now partnering with the nonprofit and agencies to help reach at risk youth and families. CBS 42 news reporter Cameron Edgeworth is live outside City Hall tonight with those details. Cameron, good evening. That's right, Jack, and I spoke with two young adults today who actually participated in a conflict resolution program with the organization making the transition. Now, Mayor Woodfin says it's going to take these type programs, also involvement from family and the community to create change. Mayor Randall Woodfin says the city is working with youth in Birmingham to provide better opportunities to cut back on crime. All of them won't come to us, so it's important that we go to them. In a press conference, the mayor said the city is working with nonprofit agencies like Making the Transition to teach at risk youth nonviolent ways to resolve conflict and get their lives on track. <laughs> 21-year-old Jamon Tolls and 19-year-old Mel Samuel took part in a program at the Collegeville Community Center in North Birmingham. They say learning peaceful ways to address conflict is important due to what young people are going through in their neighborhood. A couple of times I had to resort to violence because I didn't have nothing to eat at night. Sometimes I don't have a place to stay. The and there's a lot of people in that boat. We start feeling like, okay, it's me or them. It's God or be God. So, of course, that's how it's getting worse. That's what's making it worse. It's not like people not seeing the situation like that's messed up. They're like, oh, now I got to start carrying a gun now because if I don't, it's going to be me. Tolls and Samuel say they know how to solve conflicts peacefully now and playing basketball at the community center helps keep their lives on track. <laughs> Mayor Woodfin says it will take actions like these and involvement from family in the community to create change. We must provide support, particularly for those in at risk situations. It doesn't mean all of our students are at risk. It doesn't mean all of our young people and our children are at risk. But for those are the extra attention, resources, The mayor says the city is currently working on a plan that will create more education and job opportunities for the youth in Birmingham. He says this will help cut back on crime, and the city does plan to release more details about this plan within the coming weeks. We'll, of course, update you on that on air and online. Reporting live in Birmingham, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.